much for that grapple. 800. Wait a minute, that's not a barn door. All right, got the trailer all cleaned off and ready to go. I'm going to Menards to pick up a bunch of culvert pipes. I also have to pick up some barn doors for Sharon. <clears throat> But we'll see if there's going to be any room left or not. We'll see how much I can get on the trailer. First. Hmm, I'm thinking here. If I fill up the trailer packed full with stuff, there's no way we can get barn doors. And if I fill up the back of the pickup truck, we can't buy many barn doors. I think I'm going to go back into Menards. Well, my plan is going to be foiled. We were supposed to... I was supposed to run an errand, get these pipes, and then head over to Harrisburg and meet Sharon for them chicken doors, but now the scheduling, there's a conflict, so that's been bumped back, so now I have to go back home, which unfortunately means that I'll probably have to get the small trailer, which will be empty. But I tried, man, I tried. Ooh, she's just gonna keep filling my barn up with wood stuff. How can I prevent that? I had an idea. If I get another machine and cram it into the pole barn, then she won't have any more room to be stacking wood. This could work. This could possibly work. Well, guys, my plan is foiled. Now we have an empty trailer. Let's go look at barn wood. Hey everybody, Sharon. So Joe and I have some windshield time going on and uh, you can't see it behind us, but we got the trailer because I found some barn doors that I want to get and possibly some more barn wood. So I'm hoping it'll all fit on the trailer. I'm surprised you didn't bring the big one, but that's I, okay. I, I had actually had planned on bringing the big one. There would have only been a tiny bit of room left because I had them culvert pipes. However, oh. due to the scheduling, I had to go back home and now unfortunately we have an empty trailer on the back. I think it's very fortunate, not really unfortunate, but you know, <laughs> it's everybody's opinion. So let's enjoy the scenery. How's that? All right. All right. Oh, look at all this barnwood, Joe. Pull in there. Yeah. Maybe this won't be such a bad trip after all. That that's not going to fit on the trailer. Oh, is that all functional, or is there anything it's you need work on? Oh. That beefed up with my welding and so forth. Uh, there is one small issue, and it doesn't. It didn't ever make me a problem, but the cylinder on the left is a different size than the cylinder. I'm going to look at right. doors. Look at all that tin. Barnwood. And doors. He wasn't kidding when he said he had barn doors. And these are off of all different kinds of barns. Oh, wow. You better save some room on that trailer for me, honey. Fellas, this is not looking good right here. Look at all these doors. Can you go back and get the other trailer? Nah, I wish I would have brought it full with them culverts. You're not getting that thing, are you? I was just looking for Curtis. Well, seeing as I know there's room in the trailer, I'm also taking a big pile of this oak. Gosh, these are like the, I don't know, they're two by six, three by six. There's even like four by sixes or somewhere in there. The big stuff that's hard to find.
harness and tires. Time to load them up. Time to pull the guy back sometimes. That's why I like machines. Got a, a bobcat skid steer and then the excavator. Got a couple. Huh? Oh, workman's comp. Oh, yeah, okay, Curtis. Outdoors. Yeah, okay, Curtis. Okay, we both hurt our backs already after three pieces. Oh, <laughs> workman's comp, Mrs. K. Well, wait a minute. Is that on our business or yours, workman's comp? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're good now. You own the property. <laughs> Wait, my back's starting to hurt now, Curtis. I didn't have... She ordered you to do that. Remember, it was uh, enter at your own risk. Oh, Wait, did we sign the release? I don't remember. <laughs> All right, so with an empty trailer and cash in her purse, Mrs. Capper went hog wild and bought a bunch of these uh, barn doors and some barn logs. Keep in mind these are all hefty. They're all oak, almost all of them, and they're heavy and they're awkward. So now what are we going to do with these things? This is my latest pile of goodies. It's those barn doors. It's supposed to rain today and... <laughs> Chase some deer out right behind me. Um, it's supposed to rain today, so I want to get these up on their sides because I also need to spray them for bugs. They were stored, you know, next to those sheds there for a while, and some of them had some damage and some active damage, so I definitely don't want to take that home with us. So I'm going to spread them out. It's supposed to rain today. In fact, it looks like it'll rain pretty soon. So, get them out, and once they can dry, then I'll take them in the barn. Somewhere. I'll have to figure out where they're going. Wait, I think one of his pieces of equipment is out. Oh, I know where to put it then. So my new bazillion dollar mini excavator just left the pole barn to try and scrape together some gas money here and there and while it's gone she's gonna cram the slot full of old barn wood sheesh boy guys I'm gonna tell you the struggle is real the struggle is real boy I can't imagine how much some of these uh, oak 2x6 and 2x8s by well they're longer than a trailer I don't know, 15 feet, 14 feet, somewhere in there. How much they would cost now just to buy. Yeah, there's some sections I'm not going to be able to use. But there's a lot of good wood on there. A lot of nails, but a lot of good wood. And all of these doors that I took, they're all oak. You get a bunch of pine ones too, but um, we're going to stick with the oak. <laughs> 